Hallelujah, hallelujah, glory be to Jesus. Shalom, the Lord bless you. My name is Roger, and I welcome you to God's Move channel with Pastor Roger. In the name of our Lord Jesus Christ, amen. If you're watching me for the first time, you're highly welcome. God bless you. Thank you for tuning in. Thank you for watching. Just click on the button, subscribe, like the videos, and share it with your loved ones. And God, who is the reward of men, will bless you mightily and abundantly. In the name of the Lord Jesus Christ, amen and amen. Hallelujah. Glory be to Jesus. For my so, uh, consistent subscribers, God bless you. Thank you for being there with me. Thank you for always sharing the live broadcast on your social media platforms. Thank you for always standing and standing by me. Thank you for always sharing this message on every on, on all mediums just to make sure that the gospel of Jesus Christ is being heard to the old path of the earth. Thank you so much. And may God bless you. May the Almighty God increase you. May He cause His face to shine upon you. May His glory be revealed in your life. In the name of Jesus Christ, Amen. Hallelujah. Glory be to Jesus. The prophetic word of the Lord says, I should tell you, stay there. Stay there. Yes, we live in a generation whereby nobody is patient enough to wait to see the result or the outcome of what he or she is going through. You stay somewhere and things are hard on you, uh, they keep insulting you, they keep saying things about you, they say you're good for nothing, uh, nothing good can come out of you, or you have, not, you have never done anything good, up to a point whereby you're discouraged, you're broken, you look down on yourself. The Bible says, a man, Natalia said, can anything good come out of Nazareth? In that simplest Nazareth, the Bible, the Bible makes us understand, it said, Jesus Christ of Nazareth, went about doing good. He was not just doing good. He was distributing the goodness of God. The same place whereby they said nothing good can come out of. That means the only thing that can come out from that place is curse, is failure, is negligence or whatsoever. But from that same place came out the solution that people were looking for. Hallelujah. They look down on you. They say you can nothing good can come out of you and all or not. And up to a point whereby you're about to give up. You're about to, to go away. The Bible most understand that for the battle is not for the swift. It is not for the swift. Hallelujah. Praise Master Jesus. For the battle is not of the swift. The Bible makes us to understand that Joseph, while in prison, interpreted the dream of another. And he told him, please, once you go out there, do not forget me. Remember me. Remember me. This is to say, this person had the ability, the capacity, had the power, the authority to, to do what? To remove him out of the dungeon. But what happened? He was trying to precipitate his going out, his freedom. Hallelujah. So in another word, he was in negotiating his freedom praise god but the bible makes us understand that when he went out there what happened he forgot him for two years please whatever you have to go through go through it jesus said to the disciples he said, follow me follow me and i will make you so therefore your making is in followership i repeat again so therefore your making is in followership Follow God with all thy heart. And when you're with someone and you're under a leadership of somebody, do not say, oh, this man is treating me wrongly. This man is doing this to me because you may not know. Why? And you don't know the reason why God placed you there. Could it be that God placed you there to work out the anger in you? Could it be that God placed you there to work out patience in you? For the Bible says, it says, for he that lacketh patience, ask of him liberally and he shall give it unto thee. He says, for patient, let patient have his perfect place. Mm. In the book of James chapter 1 verse 4, he said, let patience have his perfect place in thy life so that thou will lack nothing. Let patience have his perfect place in your life. Hallelujah. Praise Master Jesus. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Stay there. The Lord should tell you, stay there. They may look down on you. They may insult you. They may say all kinds of things about you, but they, are, they do not have the final word 
of your life. They do not have the final say for God who caught you and God who placed you there knows why he placed you there. In due time and in due season, the manifestation of God's glory will be revealed in your life. The, the evidence of God in your life will be revealed and they will be amazed at what God is doing. You are giving up. You are about giving up on that thing, on that project. You are about giving up on, on your submission. You are about giving up on that which you are doing. The Lord says, stay there. Stay there. For in, in it lies your greatness. No successful person to yesterday, you see today gave up from the challenges they were facing yesterday. If you want to be successful tomorrow, face it now. Stand for it. And you will come out in glory. I pray for you today. In the name of the Lord Jesus Christ, may God give you the grace to endure and to go through that challenge, that persecution that you're facing. In the name of Jesus Christ, and I, and I pray, may the glory of God be revealed in your life. In the name of Jesus Christ, let patience, let patience, let patience have its perfect place in thy life. In the name of Jesus Christ, amen. You are blessed. You are favored and you are lifted. I hope you receive the prophetic word with gladness. May the Almighty God cause His face to shine on you. May His glory be revealed in all that you do. In Jesus' mighty name, Amen. Stay blessed and God bless you. Shalom.